You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm It was a beautiful winter day when Caillou went to the ski hill with his family. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Well, maybe there was a cloud or two. <laughs> Are you ready to go skiing, Caillou? Caillou was a little afraid because he had never skied before. Ski, ski, ski! Come on, Rosie, we're going to go have some hot chocolate. Now, let's put on your equipment. Why do I have to wear this? For the same reason you wear one on your bicycle. It protects your head. Uh-oh. Whoa! These boots are too heavy, Mommy. Don't worry. We won't be walking much in these boots. They're for using with skis. How? Like that. Look at Sarah. Sarah! Seeing his friend ski made Caillou want to try it right away. Sarah, wait for me! No, but you can watch from in here and be warm and cozy. And drink hot chocolate with your daddy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. It's too high. Caillou was afraid of going up on the tow lift. He thought he would fall. But if you want to ski down, first you have to go up. Don't worry, I'll do it with you. See, Caillou? This isn't so bad. Yes, but I'll be hanging on to you with this. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Mommy, I want to ski like Sarah. That's called the snowplow. First, you have to make a pizza slice with your skis. Like this? Yes, but you have to bend your knees a little. Like this. Hey, Caillou, everyone falls when they first learn to ski. Come on, try again. You have to put your ski sideways like this. Caillou wanted to show Sarah that he could do it all by himself. Uh, I don't want to ski anymore. But look, you've almost skied all the way down. Caillou was proud of himself. He may have fallen a few times, but he always got up and tried again. <sighs> I'm cold. I'm going in for hot chocolate. Woo! Me too! Rosie can't wait to go skiing when she's a little older. Oh, I wish there was some way we could all go down the hill together right now. I know how we can, Mommy. very excited because he was about to take a long trip on a train for the very first time. When is the train coming, Mommy? Train! It shouldn't be much longer, sweetie. Phew! These weigh a ton. We're only going away for two weeks, but we packed enough for the entire summer. Daddy! Daddy! I hear the train! It's coming! very excited. But as he watched the train getting closer, he began to feel a little scared. Mommy! It's very big, isn't it? Caillou couldn't believe how big the train was. The noise frightened him. I don't want to go. There's nothing to be afraid of. 
Come on, it's time to get on board. Are you two coming on board? Yes, sir, we are. Well, then maybe someone should help your dad with those bags. There you go. Are you folks traveling far? We're on the train for two days. Really? And what's your name? Caillou. Well, Caillou, have you ever slept on a train before? No. You're gonna love it. You'll see, it'll rock you straight to sleep. Where are the beds? That's the best part. They magically appear when it's dark. Say sleep three times and clap your hands, and I bet you they'll show up. Really? Really. But first, I'm gonna need your tickets. Thank you. We should be leaving any minute now. I'll see you later, Caillou. Daddy, it looks like the train station is moving. It's really the train that's moving, Caillou. It just looks like it's the other way around. <laughs> Why don't we go exploring while Mommy puts Rosie down for her nap? Caillou was so excited about exploring the train that he had a hard time keeping quiet. It's kind of hard walking in a train, oh. isn't it? Caillou thought walking on a train was like being on a ride at the amusement park. Where's the bathroom? I'm not sure, but it can't be far. Can we find one now? Caillou had never seen such a small bathroom before. He wasn't sure how anything worked. Are you okay in there? I don't know how it works, Daddy. Hey, it's just your size. Here, you press the button on the wall to flush, and don't forget to wash your hands. Caillou thought it was funny to be in such a small bathroom. It was much smaller than the one at home. Hi. Oh, hello there. And what's your name? Caillou. What do you think of my kitchen? We have a kitchen, too, but it's a lot bigger than yours. Well, maybe it is, but does your kitchen travel to faraway places? <laughs> no, can't say that it does. Could you tell us where the restaurant is? There's a restaurant, too? Hi, Caillou. Boy, that looks good. So, have you been on the grand tour? Let's see. The bathroom, the kitchen, and now the restaurant. I'd call that a grand tour. You mean, you haven't been to the dome car yet? That's the best part. Caillou was having so many wonderful new adventures that he couldn't imagine what could be better than his triple brownie sundae. What's a dome car? Oh, the dome car is a wonderful place. You climb up some stairs, and suddenly it's like you're flying in a plane. A plane on the train? Next stop, the dome car. Whoa! Slow down, Caillou. You wouldn't want to get a stomachache and not be able to go flying, would you? Go on up, Caillou. Caillou huh? really wondered how a plane could sit on a train. How do we fly on a train, Daddy? Stanley was comparing it to a plane because we're above the ground and the train goes fast. Come on, you'll see. Wow, Caillou, this is beautiful. Now do you wow. see why Stanley says it's like being in a plane? Vroom, 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 vroom. Caillou pretended he was flying his very own plane. He loved watching the passing clouds out of the glass roof. Come on, Caillou, it's time for bed. I don't want to go to bed. Caillou loved being on the train so much that he wasn't quite ready for bed yet. Come in. Stanley, Mommy says it's bedtime, but the beds aren't here yet. Really? That's strange. Is it dark outside? Did you brush your teeth? Hmm, well then, I think it's time for the magic words. Do you remember what we have to do, Caillou? Say sleep three times and clap my hands. Sleep, sleep! Rosie, wait, I'm not ready! 
Now, you and Rosie have to shut your eyes real tight, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Now don't peek. Okay, Caillou. Now slowly say the three magic words. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay, Caillou. You can look now. Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, Stanley. Caillou was gently rocked to sleep by the sounds of the train rolling through the night. Under sail. It was a perfect day for a walk in the park. Boat! And it was a perfect day for sailing boats. Whee! <laughs> Not so fast, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, that's my boat. It's nice, huh? Caillou didn't really want to give the boat back. He wished he had a big boat just like it to float on the lake. I want a boat like that. You have lots of nice boats of your own at home. Come on. It's time to launch the fleet, Captain. What's the matter, Caillou? Plastic boats are for babies. I want a big boat like the one at the lake. Hop in. Can we go to the lake and watch the boats, Mommy? We're going someplace even better. You and Rosie are going to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa. Hi, Caillou. I'm down here trying to make room for my new workbench. Would you like to help, Caillou? What is it? It's your dad's old kiddie pool. Why, with a bit of patching up, this would be great for you and Rosie. What's in here, Grandpa? Oh, all kinds of old stuff. Maybe even dinosaur bones. You know, I bet this still has some life in it. A boat! Oh, my old boat. Your dad helped me make that when he wasn't much older than you. It's just like the ones at the lake. Let's go sail it. It's a little worse for wear, Caillou. I don't know if it'll sail. Please, Grandpa. I want to sail it now. Well, I did build it to last. I guess we could give it a try. It's working. Aww. That's all right. Every good sailor has setbacks. But if we put some work into fixing this boat up, it'll be as good as new. Caillou and Grandpa spent all afternoon working on the boat. Why don't you paint a C for Caillou? It's perfect. Let's go to the lake now. Oh, we can't sail it yet, Caillou. We have to wait for the paint to dry. Caillou felt like the paint was taking forever to dry. Is it dry yet? I guess it's probably dry now. Yay! Oh, that's okay. We'll make our own lake. Come on. One morning, Caillou was helping Mommy make his favorite breakfast, pancakes. We need to add an egg. I can get it, Mommy. I don't see any eggs. Uh-oh. Looks like we're out of eggs, and I can't make pancakes without an egg. This was very unlucky. Caillou had really been looking forward to those pancakes. No pancakes? No pancakes? <laughs> Let's go buy some eggs, Daddy. Good thinking, Caillou. I can be back with a dozen eggs in no time. Maybe since we only need one egg, we can borrow it from Mr. Hinkle. Why don't you go and ask Caillou? Mm -hmm. 
Why, hello, Caillou. Can I have an egg? Well, sure. That's a farm fresh egg. Caillou had never seen a brown egg before. Have you ever been to a farm, Caillou? Would you like to visit one? Yes. It looked like this might be a lucky day for Caillou after all. He was going to get his pancakes and maybe a trip to a farm. It's really nice of you to take Caillou to your sister's farm, Mr. Hinkle. Oh, no trouble. Sis can always use some extra help around the old place. Finish up your pancakes, Caillou. It's time to go. All done. Are you ready to be a farmer for the day, Caillou? This is where I lived when I was a little boy. Caillou had trouble imagining that Mr. Hinkle had ever been a little boy. Hi, sis. Why, hello, Polly. And who have you got with you? This is my neighbor, Caillou. He's come to help you out and be a farmer for the day. Well, pleased to meet you, Farmer Caillou. I'm Mr. Hinkle's big sister, Nancy. Oh, Nan, you've gone and covered me in flour. <laughs> Well, of course I did, Polly. I'm baking a pie. Come on in and you can help. Like this? You need more flour on your pie and less on your face. What next? We need some apples for the filling. I can get them. Um, where are they? I'll show you, Caillou. Follow me. Caillou thought if he could just jump a little higher, he could reach the apple. <laughs> Looks like you need a boost. There were so many beautiful apples. Caillou didn't know which one to pick next. How about that one? But with Mr. Hinkle's help, he picked the nicest apples on the tree for their pies. Like this? That's right. Caillou couldn't wait to taste the pie. When will it be ready to eat? Oh, not for a little while. How would you like to help feed the chickens while it's baking? I bet you've never fed chickens before, have you? Sometimes I feed my cat, Gilbert. Well, then, you're the right man for the job. Caillou didn't like the chickens chasing him. It frightened him. I guess Gilbert isn't as pushy as a bunch of hungry chickens. This will keep them away. Shoo! 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 Now it was Caillou's turn to chase the chickens. I found it! Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. The egg had appeared like magic. Where did the egg come from? It came from the chicken. That's where eggs come from. This was my favorite place when I was a kid. Why? Mostly because of this swing. You're going to love it. <laughs> higher! Higher! Whee! <laughs> I want to do it again! Caillou was frightened by the angry cat. Gilbert never hissed at him like that. It's okay. You probably scared her more than she scared you. Well, I'll be. She was just worried about her kittens. If we're very quiet, we can sit and watch for a while. Caillou had never seen such small kittens before. He thought he could watch them forever. Oh, Polly! Caillou! Come on, Caillou. Caillou liked the kitten so much, he didn't want to leave it. Can I keep the kitten, Mr. Hinkle? It's very young, and it still needs to be with its mother. 
And you have Gilbert waiting for you back home. Come on, I smell pie. Caillou thought it was the best pie he had ever tasted. And he made it himself. You're back. How was the farm? Caillou was a big help. He fed the chickens and picked apples and made his own pie. And I got to hold a baby kitten. Farm fresh eggs, how wonderful. No, Mommy, chicken fresh. <laughs> Getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou beats the heat. It was a hot, hot summer day, and Caillou was getting ready to go to the swimming pool. He had a hard time getting his water wings on, but he was sure his flippers would be much easier. Now all Caillou needed was his swim goggles and his cape. What's this? A duck wearing a cape? No, it's me, Caillou. Whoa, better take those flippers off. You might trip. I'm going to wear them on my hands <laughs> instead of my feet. Can we go to the swimming pool, Mommy? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. We can't go to the pool today. Why? Daddy and I have a lot to do around the house. Caillou was sad. He really wanted to go swimming today. Swim! 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 Rosie wants to go swimming, too. Oh, we'll try to go tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to go today. Gilbert's hot, too. He's got no water. Gilbert drinks juice. Mommy, Rosie's throwing her juice. Caillou, don't clean up juice with your beach towel. I just wanted to help. I'm going outside. Don't forget your hat. Oh, and Caillou, don't forget your sunscreen. But it's so sticky. You need it. The sun is very strong today. And it's hot, too. Well, here's something to keep you cool. Thanks, Mommy. Caillou couldn't help laughing at how silly Gilbert looked. <laughs> but he was still sad about not going to the swimming pool. Oh. You're hot. And sticky, too. You need a good washing up. And cooling down. <laughs> You set it up, and I'll turn it on. Okay! Nothing's coming out, Mommy! You, <laughs> you tricked me! <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Jump in. <laughs> so Caillou found out that you can have just as much fun in your own backyard. I don't know about Gilbert, though. <laughs> Come on, Gilbert. Jump in! <laughs> Backseat driver. Caillou was looking forward to going to the restaurant for supper. Vroom! 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 Beep! 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 Rosie want car! Uh, no, Rosie! It's my car! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no! Rosie! <laughs> Settle down, you two. <laughs> Here, 
Rosie. I don't want to play with it anymore. Beep, 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 vroom! <laughs> Daddy? Yes, Caillou? Are we there yet? <laughs> no, but we'll be there soon. Mommy's waiting for us at the restaurant. It won't be long. Ow! Daddy Rosie broke my car! I'll take a look at it when we arrive. We'll be there soon. I'm hot. Rosie hot! Can you roll the window down? Window down! Rosie, stop! Everything. Caillou was angry with Rosie, and he was hungry and hot, too. Both of you, please stop. Look, we're moving again. <laughs> oh, no, what now? Everything's going to be fine. I'll go take a look. Just great. <laughs> Caillou felt bad that Rosie was scared and wanted to make her feel better. Okay, Rosie. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? When are we going to see Mommy? First, we have to wait until the tow truck arrives. It shouldn't be much longer. Where is he taking the car? He's going to tow us to the garage. Okay, folks, we're all set. Are we going to ride up there? No, you're gonna ride in the truck with me. Have you ever ridden in a tow truck before? No. It's a lot of fun, you'll see. How's it going back there? Are you going to fix our car? No, I just tow him. But you'll meet my dad at the garage. He's the one who fixes him. Your dad? Yep, like it says on the side of the truck, Sullivan and Son. I'm the son, Jack Sullivan. I'm Caillou. My daddy doesn't fix cars. Oh, I'm pretty sure that your dad knows how to fix a whole bunch of things. My daddy has a wrench and a hammer in his toolbox, too. Really? And he can't fix a car? <laughs> Can you fix my car? Won't be a problem, son. I'll have her up and running in no time. No, my car. Rosie broke the wheel. Why don't we let Mr. Sullivan do his work? We'll fix your car later, okay? Okay. Daddy, Daddy, I'm hungry! In a minute, Caillou. I have to call Mommy first. I'll get you a snack, Caillou. I want a chocolate bar. Oh, did I press the granola bar button by mistake? I'm sorry, Caillou. I want some! Can I press the button? Make sure you press the right one. After having heard from Daddy, Mommy was happy that everyone was safe and sound. Oh, hello. I'm not used to seeing you dining alone. Where are Caillou and Rosie? 
They'll be joining me later. They've been held up. Hmm, what do you recommend this evening? Uh, Mr. Sullivan? Down here! All done, Caillou. Your car's all fixed up. Daddy's car is fixed, but mine is still broken. Mr. Sullivan, would you mind if I borrowed a few of your tools? Not at all. Help yourself. Aha! Exactly what I need. Caillou was happy that his daddy was able to fix his car. He loved helping daddy fix things. Was the garage fun? Yes! We got both of our cars fixed. Both cars? My car was fixed too! Lost and found! Okay, Caillou, remember what I told you. Keep your eyes on the ball. It's okay. Just take oh. your time. Hey! Give me my ball! Come back! Daddy, help! He's got my ball! <laughs> gotcha! He has a collar, so he must belong to someone. Well, we've looked a long time, and no one seems to know whose dog this is. He's all alone? He must be lost. He's a scruffy little guy, isn't he? Scruffy? We could call him Scruffy. Oh, could I keep him, Daddy? Please? I'm sorry, Caillou, but this dog probably belongs to someone who misses him very much. Huh? I'll tell you what, though. We can help find his owner. How's that? Okay. Caillou was sad. He wanted to keep the dog all to himself. Hello? Anybody home? Who's this? I found him. His name is Scruffy. He was lost in the park. I thought we could help find his owner. Hmm. Hey, no! Stop! Daddy! What a mess. Why don't you two take him outside and clean him up? Time to rinse him off. It was time to look for Scruffy's owner, so Daddy decided to take his picture to put on a poster. Smile, Scruffy! Perfect. Now we just have to make copies and buy some dog food on our way home. What if no one calls Daddy? Can I keep him? We'll see. Taking care of a dog is a big job. Hello? Yes? Uh-huh. That's him. Great. See you then. That was Scruffy's owner. She saw your poster and is coming over to pick him up. Rocky! She's been so sad since we lost Rocky. I'm so glad you found him. It was Caillou who found him. Right, Caillou? Do you have a dog? No, but I have a cat. His name is Gilbert. Really? You're lucky. I wanted a cat, too, but my dad is allergic. Time to go, sweetie. I'm so happy you found him. Thanks for taking care of Rocky for me. Even though Caillou was sad that Scruffy was leaving, he was very proud that he had helped. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> Gilbert! Holiday magic! Caillou loved looking at all the Christmas lights in his neighborhood. He was very excited because today he was going to visit Santa. What are you drawing, Caillou? A picture for Santa, so he'll remember what to bring me for Christmas. That's a great idea. What are you going to ask for? 
Caillou was having a very hard time deciding what to ask Santa to bring him for Christmas. What about a toy car? Caillou finally knew what to ask Santa for. When are we getting a Christmas tree? Today, right after Dad finishes up his work. He could hardly believe it. Seeing Santa and decorating the tree all in the same day. Caillou, <laughs> we're going to put decorations on the tree, not on you. Where's Daddy? I think he's still on the phone. He'll be out in a minute. I'll go get him. Daddy, hurry! We're going to see Santa! I'll just be a minute, Caillou. You're tracking snow into the house. Caillou was very impatient to see Santa and wanted Daddy to get off the phone. Okay, thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Come on, Daddy, hurry! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. You know what? I think I better go to the bathroom first. Go fast, Daddy! <laughs> this is a switch. I usually have to wait for you. I'll just be a minute. Caillou, wait for us! He was very excited to go and see Santa. Caillou! Daddy! Caillou was afraid to get on the escalator by himself, and Daddy was already on his way up. It's okay, I'm coming down. Daddy looked very funny walking down the escalator going the wrong way. <laughs> That's the wrong way! You're right. The up escalator is only for going up, but I had to come and get you. Clementine! Hi, Caillou. I'm gonna tell Santa what I want for Christmas. Me too. What do you want? I want a new doll and a jump rope and an oven so I can make my own cakes and cookies. And maybe a new teddy bear or a big fluffy dog. What are you asking for? Thing. Caillou wasn't sure if he should ask Santa for more, but all he really wanted was this one special thing. Watching Clementine with Santa, he was suddenly a little nervous to go up and ask him for what he wanted. Go on, Caillou. It's your turn. <laughs> What's this? A picture for me? I love getting pictures. Did you write your name on it? Well, then you'd better tell me your name so I don't forget who it's from. Caillou. Ho, 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 This is a beautiful drawing, Caillou. Why don't you climb up here and tell me more about it? Caillou was very happy that Santa liked his drawing. And he didn't feel shy anymore. <laughs> Why, this looks like a dinosaur. Yes. It's a dinosaur that walks and talks. <gasps> you mean you want a real dinosaur? <laughs> no, a toy dinosaur with batteries. <laughs> Phew, I don't have many real dinosaurs at the North Pole, but I think I just might have the kind that you want. Yeah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Caillou! Caillou was happy that he had asked Santa for a dinosaur. And who's this? Rosie's my sister. Rosie. That's a beautiful name. And what would you like for Christmas, Rosie? <laughs> Rosie's a little scared, Caillou. I think we better wait until next year. I'm going to bring you something special for Christmas, Rosie. Bye, Caillou! <laughs> Have a merry, merry Christmas! Caillou was proud of being a big boy and not being afraid of Santa anymore. Where are the trees, Daddy? Sorry, I just sold my last Christmas tree to that family over there. Look at my tree, Caillou! We're going home to decorate it! Bye! I want to decorate a Christmas tree, too. I'm sorry, Caillou, but there are none left. Here you go, kid. If you come back tomorrow, I promise I'll have the best tree waiting just for you. I won! I won! So, I'll see you folks tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to wait for tomorrow. 
He wanted to decorate the tree today. Mommy, Daddy, look! What on earth? <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> Caillou didn't want to be outside. He wanted to be inside, decorating a Christmas tree. Why can't we get a tree, Daddy? The man said he'd have more trees tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to decorate the tree now. You know what? Maybe we can. Really? Why don't we go inside and get that box of decorations? We're going to decorate us a Christmas tree. Have a tree inside? Of course we can, sweetie. Caillou thought he was the luckiest boy in the world. Santa Claus was bringing him a dinosaur, and he was going to have two Christmas trees. Ready? Wow! Caillou thought it was the most beautiful tree he had ever seen. <laughs> to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Pirate Caillou? Looking for treasure. Pirate Caillou didn't know that he was going to find a real treasure that day in a most unexpected place. I can't wait until Caillou's a bit older so I can teach him how to play football. Like I taught you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Pirate Caillou. It's time to go home. I don't want to go home. I didn't find the treasure yet. Well, wherever it is, it'll still be there the next time. We're home, Mommy! Mommy, what are you doing? I'm cleaning up. Can I help? Sure. Here, put this in the box. Okay. Oh! Sorry, Mommy can't come to the phone. She's busy. Oh, I thought I told your dad to throw that old thing away. <laughs> He's such a pack rat. What's a pack rat? A pack rat is someone who can't throw anything away. Am I a pack rat, Mommy? Well, you do have a lot of toys in your room that you don't play with anymore. I play with all my toys. Caillou, I really have to finish sorting these books. When Caillou saw the old trunk, he was very curious to see what was inside. Caillou didn't know it, but he had discovered the treasure he was looking for. Wow! A chest full of things his daddy had collected. Whew. <laughs> what have you got there? Smile! I'm taking a picture! Wow! <gasps> what have you found now? A whole bunch of stuff! Let me see that. I wore this when your daddy took me to a special dance. I can't believe he kept it. Hey, what are you guys up to? Look, Daddy! <laughs> My old harmonica! You're such a pack rat. Mommy said I'm a pack rat, too. What have you got there? What is it? I don't believe it. This is my old college football. All it needs is a bit of cleaning up and some air. Would you like me to teach you how to play? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
I taught him everything he knows about football. Ready, Caillou? Here it comes. Uh. It was a beautiful weekend, and Caillou was very excited because he was going camping. Mommy, I need to go now. Are you sure you can't wait? What's the matter, Rosie? Uh, mommy, gone. <laughs> You're right. And so's Caillou. There you are. Yay! Where's Caillou? <laughs> he needed to make a pit stop. Caillou! I'm finished. Come on, we better get going. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Um, on second thought. What's the matter, honey? I, I, I think I better go too. <laughs> What's that? It's a moose crossing sign. There are a lot of moose in the forest and that tells drivers to watch for them. A moose? Wow! Can I see one? Rosie too! Hmm, you shouldn't get your hopes up too high, Caillou. Why? Because moose are very shy. Caillou thought it was strange that such a big animal could be shy. Hi, folks. Welcome to Camp Rome. My name's Pierre. What's yours? Caillou. You're going to have lots of adventures here, Caillou. You can play games and go swimming and even climb a mountain. What would you like to do first? I want to see a moose. I'm afraid it's not very likely. Moose stay away from people most of the time. I don't think we've ever seen one in the camp before. What do you say we give them a hand with that? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> nice work, Caillou. Are you coming in, Caillou? Wait for me, Mommy! Oh. What's the matter, sweetie? Come on, the water's great! But something's swimming in the water. Those are little fish, Caillou. Don't worry, they're more afraid of you than you are of them. Caillou wasn't so sure that he wanted to swim anymore. deep at all. It's cold. Don't you want to splash me? <laughs> Once Caillou got into the water, he wasn't afraid anymore. <laughs> and pretty soon it was time for lunch. Mmm. Something smells awfully good. I could eat a horse. Well, I could eat a moose. <laughs> moose! Moose! Look! Oh, no! A chipmunk! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> we really shouldn't feed the wild animals, Caillou. Why? Because they have to get their food from the forest. What are you two doing this afternoon? We're going mountain climbing. Yeah! That's it, Caillou. Keep going. You're doing great. Uh, whoa! <clears throat> are you okay? Caillou was frightened when he slipped, but he wanted Daddy to see how brave he was. We're almost there. Look! We did it! 
I'm very proud of you. I guess mountain climbing must be hard work. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's bedtime. Everything's ready in the trailer. I want to stay in the hammock. It would be fun to sleep outside. Okay, then. Caillou loved sleeping in the hammock in his daddy's arms. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the, the bed, bed bugs, bugs bite. bite. <laughs> was very impressed by the moose. He had never seen such a big animal before. Mommy, Mommy, come and see! Daddy, what? Daddy, look! Oh, wow! Shh! We have to be as quiet as mice, remember? Moose are very shy. It's a moose. Moose! Moose! <laughs> moose gone. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou thought it was funny that such a big animal could be frightened away by a little girl like Rosie. One afternoon, Caillou and Sarah were playing in Sarah's backyard. Sarah, supper time. 28, 29, 30. Yay, I did it! Let me try now. You're too little to jump rope. Show me how, Sarah. It's time for supper, Sarah. Come in and set the table, please. I'll show you how another day. Bye, Caillou. Why don't you have supper with us, Caillou? I'll call your mommy and ask her. Your mom says you can stay, Caillou. Why don't you help Sarah set the table? Just put them in front of each place. What are they? They're chopsticks. You eat with them, like this. What's this? It's Chinese noodles and vegetables. I love noodles, but I don't like vegetables. What's this? It's an egg roll. Don't worry, it's not a vegetable. Oops. <laughs> Good shot, Caillou. Chopsticks can be a bit tricky at first. Caillou learned that it takes a bit of practice to get the hang of using chopsticks. Oops. Sarah's cat, Ollie, was very happy that Caillou had come for supper. I eat my egg roll with my hands. Maybe you should use your fork now, Caillou. Okay. Eat your bok choy, Sarah. It's good for you. Look, Sarah. Caillou is eating all of his. Bok choy is a vegetable, Caillou. You hate vegetables. Oh. I like Chinese vegetables. <gasps> is that a dragon? Yes. It's a Chinese dragon. Would you like to try it on? make a very scary dragon, Caillou. <laughs> Green is my favorite. Green is my favorite, too. <laughs> Caillou, what are you doing? I want to try the chopsticks. Oh, you can't eat this with chopsticks. <laughs> it's much too slippery. Wow. Oops. Show me how, 
Caillou? Caillou was able to show Sarah something new. Mommy were on their way to play ball in the park. What's that? You've heard that before, remember? I know. It's to tell us when it's safe to cross. Excuse me. I'm looking for the dog run. I know where it is. You do? Where? The park is just over there. You can't miss it. Thank you. <laughs> Every time Caillou went to the park, he liked to look at the map and decide which way to go. I want to go this way. Okay. It's okay, don't worry, they won't bite you. You have two dogs? Oh no, I'm a dog walker. That's my job. Caillou thought being a dog walker sounded like a great job. I'm taking these guys to the dog run. It's here. I'm going there. <coughs> Maybe we'll see you later. <laughs> Still, guys? Is there anything we can do to help? I don't think so. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Coming through! <laughs> Wow! Neat, huh? His name is Dylan. He can shake hands. Want to try? Hi, Dylan. I'm Caillou. Why don't you throw that for him? He's pretty good at catching balls, too. with this, honey. Okay. A little farther on, Caillou's mommy met an old friend of hers named Barbara. And you must be Caillou. I like your dog. His name is Maxwell. Hi, Maxwell. Can I play with him? You can pet him. Will he bring my ball back? I'm sorry, Caillou, but I can't let him play ball with you. <gasps> Maxwell is a very special dog. He has work to do. Work? Yes, he helps me. What does he do? Well, Caillou, I'm blind, and Maxwell is my guide dog. Blind? My friend Barbara can't see. <gasps> so Maxwell's job is to see for me. Caillou was surprised to learn that dogs had jobs to do just like grown-ups. Would you like to see how he helps me? Barbara is blind, remember? That means she can't see you nodding your head. So if you would like to see how Maxwell does his job, you have to tell me. Okay. Yes. Yes, please! This is Maxwell's harness. 
I hold on to it, and he leads me everywhere. How you loved seeing how Maxwell showed Barbara which way to go. What's Maxwell doing now, Caillou? He's sitting. When he sits down, he's telling me it's not safe to walk. Wow. discovered that Maxwell was a smart dog. A very smart dog. Caillou knew that sound meant it was safe to cross the street. Can go. But Maxwell knew it wasn't completely safe to cross just yet. Good boy, Maxwell. 